Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite raw dishes. So here we are. We're going to make stuffed mushrooms. Now what I'm using, you could make them uh, if you have the large portobellos, you can use that. But if you're having a little party or a get-together, it's nice to have these little ones uh, made because it's just nicer to serve. But otherwise, you could take the same recipe I'm using now and you can simply make a large portobello for yourself. So here we go. We're going to start. Okay, now because these are small, I'm going to use um, a small espresso spoon, but we want to keep also the stem. Okay, so ready? We're going to slowly knock over the stem, and if you want, you could just simply remove a little bit, not too much, you don't want to break uh, you don't want to break the mushrooms. Now, I don't mind using the gills, and if you're picky about the gills, then leave the gills out. But this is all going to go into the food processor for me. And I am just going to remove just that end and leave the rest in to go into the food processor. And you're just going to keep doing this until they're all done. So off comes the the tip, pull out the stem, and just take out a bit of it. You don't have to take that much out. Just so you can make a little well inside your mushroom. Now people say, oh you have to uh, you have to cook mushrooms, otherwise it's not good for you. Well, mushrooms, I'll tell you something about mushrooms. Mushrooms can either be cooked by heat, it can be cooked by acid, or it can be cooked by salt. And once you go into the dehydrator, these are going to come out nice and warm, and they're going to be just super, super delicious. Now, these were already wiped out, but if you are uh, wiping your mushroom, just simply use a paper towel. You do not want to wet them. Out comes the inside, and we will be using that. I still have to make that recipe for you guys. I keep promising I'm going to do that recipe. I just have to remember. My head sometimes is on overload. So, I want to say thank you guys for all those wonderful comments on my my beautiful animal video and um, unfortunately Mufet's still not feeling better but she is feeling a lot a lot better than she did but I'm not going to stress her out by going there with the camera but as I promise you as soon as she gets better I'm going to show you how beautiful she really is well there's a picture of her we call her Mufet because she looks like a little skunky that's our little skunky. Okay, just cut off the ends. There you go. And once these go into the dehydrator, they stay uncooked from heat. And mushrooms, believe it or not, give us a lot of fantastic minerals. And these are so fun and so delicious, especially if you're having a little party. Now, how do you serve these? There are certain ways you can serve these. You can serve these um, alone, just a mushroom. Or you can put this on something. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking what I'm going to do. I've served these in many ways. And people that have eaten this mushroom... Ooh, did I just break it a bit? Yes, I did. People who has eaten my raw mushroom swear they were cooked. Now, you do need a dehydrator to make this recipe, and lucky me, my stove that I got lately, uh, not long ago, I have a new stove, and my stove has a lot of great extras. 
it has a dehydrator it has slow cooking like a slow cooker it has bread proofing so i'm really excited over my new stove because i don't have to go because i do keep my dehydrator in my garage there you go like i said if you guys don't like the gills it doesn't bother me it gives it more of that meat look by the way, I cannot believe the weather we're having today. Yes, it's raining, but if you go outside, you swear it's a spring day. It is raining out in Montreal. This is the craziest thing ever. And the last time something like this happened to us, we had a horrible ice storm that made us paralyzed for up to 10 days. Some people up to a month with no electricity, no heating. That was in the dead of winter. It was in January. So, I'm like, I'm scared. Like, what's going to happen here? I really am. Okay, so here we go. We're going to need a food processor. And we're going to dump this right into our food processor. We're going to put, for heat, a little bit, uh, there we go, a little bit of green, no, a little extra. I like it hot. Okay. A little bit of green pepper. We're going to need a little bit of onion. So simple. It's so simple to eat raw. And a lot of people say, oh, but it's so, it's so cold. Yes, it is cold in the winter. But especially here in Canada. Let me just get rid of this. But you know what? If you do it smartly, it's going to be doable. Okay, so you're going to need a little bit of onion. How much onion really is up to you. There we go. I'm adding the pepper, like I said. Again, that is up to you how, uh, how hot or if you don't want the heat at all. We're going to get some walnuts. Now, if you're making this during the holidays, like Christmas or New Year's, you could always add something like dates or you can add... Um, cranberries and make it a little more festive but we're going to put a nice large handful of walnuts there we go maybe a little more why not so yeah if you're doing over the holidays you could add some beautiful fruit in there and it's going to be super super delicious Okay, ready? To this, we're going to add just a little bit of flax. And how much really is up to you. This is just extra benefit. This will give you the omegas you need. And this will also absorb uh, the water the mushroom is going to make. So I put about maybe a tablespoon of it. Now, we will add a little garlic. There we go. That's about a medium-sized garlic. We're going to crush it so we don't have big chunks in our, our uh, what you call meat filling that we're making. Because we will pass this through the processor. Okay. Now, because I already have, um, I already have some hot pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of taco mix that I, and this recipe here, if you check uh, on my videos, I do have a, a, a video on how to make my taco mix, but I'm not going to put a lot. I'm only going to put, I'd say about a half a teaspoon of taco mix, but I'm going to play it by ear and taste it uh, once it's done. Okay, so we're just going to give this a little go and maybe just a drizzle of olive oil. 
Now my olive oil is not raw. Like I said, I'm not 100% raw, um, but you can leave the olive oil out. So that's up to you. I'm just going to put a little bit, not a lot, but like I said, you can leave it out. Here we go. That's about maybe a half a teaspoon, maybe even less. This is a little baby spoon. Okay, so we're going to put this to the food processor and see what it feels like. If it's too wet, you could always add some more crushed walnuts. But you want to be able to fill these up. Oh yeah, I forgot my parsley. Now, you could also push shredded carrots. How would you normally stuff your mushrooms? That's how you have to look at this. Now I'm going to use parsley, but I'm going to use just the leaves, and I'm just going to give it a little break so that when they do pulse up, I'm not left with big pieces. And we're just going to put this through. Guys, can you say I need a new one? Look at this. It's been, I'm holding it together with, with tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. Very simple, very fast. I'm telling you, you could have dinner done in no time at all. A little spicy. Mm -hmm. This will give us a little bit of heat over the winter. Okay. I might put a little extra flax. Yeah, we're going to add a little, these are like little bombs, they're so hot. There we go, a little extra flax seeds. And I might put a little bit of my grated cheese, or maybe I'll put that just on top. So there you go, I have my paste. Now, if you want to put carrots, what you could do is just shred your carrots, but in very tiny, tiny bits, because you want this to... You know, go down easy, like as if you're eating eating cooked foods, right? Mm, so good. Mm, some salt. Okay, we're going to put some powdered lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. And you can make this yourself, too. You would need lemon skins to make that. A little bit of mushroom powder, optional. I'm just using it because I have a little bit left. Mm. My God, that's good. My smoky salt. Now remember, mushrooms is either cooked either by heat, citrus, or salt. So we will, it's gonna break down the fibers of these mushrooms. They're gonna be simply delicious. Now, if you had tomatoes, you could also put a little bit of tomato if you want. Or even sun-dried tomatoes would go good in here. I'm just going to taste this one more time. Dang, I'm good. Mm -mm. Wow. I could just sit there and eat that right now. Okay, there we go. Mix it up one more time. See how easy it is? It takes like five minutes to make raw food. All right. There we go. We'll start with a little bit and then we're going to just keep adding if we have to, we'll just add more on top. I just want to get a little bit in so I have enough for everyone. Yeah, maybe I'll put this here so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm filling these things up, but I'm doing it from away from the camera. Da da. There, look how beautiful these are. And I still have extra. But if you have extra, 
do not fret you can always throw this in the freezer and add it to whatever you make uh, that's cooked if you're making burgers you could just simply pull it out of the freezer if you have extra and just there you go I'm gonna pack them I'm not gonna put anything in the freezer I'm gonna use it all because I'm gonna pack them right to the top because these will shrivel up Whoop. I'm being messy sorry guys these will shrivel up and they're gonna also make water guys so you want to dehydrate them enough that they get nice and shriveled up as if you cook them yum yum they're, they're going to be delicious now I'm not sure how I'm going to serve these but trust me I'm going to put on my thinking hat and see how do I want to serve these little mushrooms and remember these are great to eat just as a dinner or they're also great if you have people over and what a great topic right when you give them a mushroom and they tell you oh my god this is so good and then you tell them I didn't even cook them and they're gonna look at you and say what it's like when people taste my cheese and they say what do you mean this is not real cheese well what do you mean well it's cheese it's real for me oh my hands are clean guys but it's not cow cheese, something that you're used to eating. And they're always very surprised, especially with my blue cheese. Look at that, I use all the insides. Now, if I was using um, portobellos, you probably need a little extra stuffing. So what I would do is basically uh, take at least half a portobello and throw it in with the stems so you get enough so you get enough to be able to stuff your mushrooms and I'd probably shred some carrots and if you want this recipe I have more than one if you want you could even drizzle some olive oil or spray them with olive oil and when I say spray I don't mean the cans I mean the bottle spray guys you can make your own little bottle spray it's very my camera shut off again why wouldn't it because this is what my camera does now I'm not sure where I left off but I will check and let you know okay guys here we go so this way you can see here I made 12 of them now um, remember if you have leftover um, uh, if you see you have leftover stuffing which might not happen but if you do you say what am I gonna do with this I don't have any more mushrooms to stuff don't worry about it it's okay wrap it up put it in the freezer and then when you have it in the freezer if you're making um, mushrooms or whatever you're making you just take that stuffed peppers just take that and throw it in even if it's a cooked dish because all you're gonna do is end up cooking this uh, you're cooking mushrooms right uh, I'm sure you've made burgers that are cooked with walnuts in it so it's not the end of the world you have leftover stuffing wrap it up nice and tight throw it in the freezer next batch of oat meat um, or oat burgers like my sliders if you want to try those out uh, you can just simply take that little package and just add it to the ingredients that you're using to make the sliders so here I go I did add some of my uh, grated cheese now you can cook these if you want you could actually put these in the oven and bake them in the oven and they're gonna be super delicious if you want cooked foods if you're staying towards a raw diet then you're not gonna cook these you're gonna dehydrate them which basically you're cooking them on a very low low heat where you're keeping all the minerals and the vitamins intact you're not destroying them with the high heat now people have asked me how does your family eat if you eat raw what does your husband eat what does Erica eat what does Amanda eat what does the twins eat so um, they eat whatever I make them that's what it comes down to but yes I do cook food for them they want cooked food they like that hot. ma I want hot food it's cold I'm hot I mean it's cold out I want hot food so I will make them hot food I'm not gonna make them I'm not gonna force them to eat raw food like I do 
and I don't force myself. I do it because I feel the best eating raw foods. So by keeping everything intact, I believe we, I, I can tell you how I feel. I feel the highest energy when I eat raw, but I'm, trust me, I love my cooked food. And I'll tell you why I like cooked foods, because when you cook foods, what you're doing is you're pulling out all the sugars. It's it's sweeter, it's more caramelized. So people love that cooked food. Plus it's also that feeling, that warmth when it goes into your body. You think I don't like it? Of course I like it. But I love my raw foods for the energy it gives me. So people are gonna say you shouldn't be eating raw mushrooms. Well, you know what? I know a lot of people that eat cooked foods that put raw mushrooms in their salad. So why are they eating raw mushrooms, right? So here we go, So more smoked salt. I know I'm losing most of this on my counter. Okay, so now I just want to put some paper underneath because I will be drizzling or spraying some oil on my mushrooms. Or I could do that even at the end. You know what? I'm going to do that at the end. Instead of doing it now, I'm going to do it at the end. So there you go. Going in my dehydrator. Remember, the highest you can cook to keep your nutrients intact will be 118 Fahrenheit that's the highest okay you could go lower than that but it takes longer I want to speed these up a little so I'm putting it at 118 and it's gonna take longer than an hour that's why you have to prepare yourself if you're putting things in a dehydrator you got to start ahead of time to uh, prepare your food that's the only downside about eating gourmet I call this gourmet raw eating because otherwise my raw eating just comes out of a bowl but because I'm doing something that is a little more gourmet, uh, they're gonna go into the dehydrator and you need to prepare yourself and time yourself so you have time to either have it for lunch or dinner, depending when you wanna do it. That is up to you. So dehydrate it as long as you want to dehydrate it. I will give you an idea on how long I did mine. Do put up a little liner and or parchment paper and hopefully you should be able to gather some of the juices that will come out of this out of these mushrooms they might not but if they do you're able to collect some of those delicious delicious juices so i'll see you when these are cooked okay guys we're back we're gonna make a small dip Okay, we're going to make a small dip for my uh, mushrooms. I just did. There we go, just a little bit. We're gonna use a little bit of my sour cream, not much. There we go. Sorry. A little bit of salt. Black pepper. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to taste it. Delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I can't even tell you how good this is. Now, if you want this more fatty, more creamy, obviously you would have to have some uh, cashew nuts or almonds soaked, and then you're going to add some of those, so it'll give you a creamier, um, a creamier texture, but I'm okay with this little oil we don't want to put a lot of oil on this this is just so we have a tiny little bit of sauce with our uh with our mushroom and i'm just going to show you remember these are going to be appetizers and if you don't want them as an appetizer you could just put them in a plate and 
eat them up. But this is going to be an appetizer. So we're going to use There we go. We're just going to mix a little bit of balsamic and olive oil. go one there and just a little drizzle on top and this is how I would serve it Should have put this. There we go. There we go. Like I said, if you don't want to use that as an appetizer or as an hors d'oeuvre, you can simply use it. Uh, put the whole pile of mushrooms in your plate, and you can have that as a meal. Here we go. Simple, easy, and I hope you like this recipe, guys. And if you want to see more raw dishes from me, just leave a comment down there. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and that bell is going to tell you when I put up a new video. So thank you, and guess what, guys? I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.